Hi folks, Kate Saxton here of Ask Miss Kate on Facebook and my blog, katesaxton.com. Wanted to come to you today and ask you a question. Have you ever known deep in your heart that there's a person or a job or maybe a behavior that you've been doing in life that isn't so healthy for you? That person may not be healthy, the job or the behavior, and you know you need to let go of that person, job, behavior, whatever it is. You know you need to let go, but you can't or you're struggling to let go. You know, when I was counseling people for years, especially family members of alcoholics and, and drug addicts, but also addicts themselves, the need to let go of another person was so profound and so necessary but people struggled with it. Yet, when they finally did let go with love, not only was the other person able to get help for themselves and from the right people at the right time in the right place for them, but also the freedom that that family member was able to gain in letting go, they actually gained something back. And oftentimes they gain themselves back. And I'm here to tell you that there's an art. There's a real art to letting go. And in my blog post today, I'm talking about the art and the language of letting go. Melody Beatty wrote a book, actually two, of daily meditations and essays about the language of letting go. It's a beautiful book. I'll post also, I will put a, a link to purchase that if you want to buy that. I'll put that on my blog post too, but check out my blog today, the language, the art of letting go, and actually, by letting go, we really gain something back, and we gain ourselves back, and it, isn't that what we all really want, is to get a sense of who we are back in our world? So check out the blog post today, katesaxton.com, remember, it's Kate with a C, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care, everybody.